Let's say we have a model like this, and we added here a bevel modifier for this model. But we don't see any effect of the bevel modifier. We know that it can happen because of a clamp option. So if we disable this option, the bevel effect will be visible, but as a side effect we can see many undesired artifacts. We all have probably experienced this, and removing these artifacts through a careful modeling or mesh editing can be very difficult, and sometimes even impossible. So in this tutorial, we'll discuss two different methods for an easy and quick bevel effect. One method is for EV, and another is for cycles. We can completely remove this bevel modifier. Let's first discuss the best way to follow in cycles, so we need to switch over to the rendered view mode, because this fake bevel only works for the render output, and we'll do everything just in the shader editor. Here we have a principled BSDF, and for the bevel effect, we have to manipulate its normal input which is right here. We'll connect a node called bevel to this normal input. And please remember that this bevel node is made for cycles, it won't take any effect if you use EV. You may already know about this bevel node, and we'll discuss a similar method in this tutorial that works for EV. But for the time being, let's first change our render engine to cycles to see how it works. So we can see that there is some amount of bevel which is added to all the edges. And if you want to change this bevel amount, you can just change this radius value. But please remember that it does not change the actual geometry, so try to use a lower value so that it looks realistic, and try to avoid a close-up shot, otherwise it can look very artificial. So this was all for the cycles engine, now let's see how we can add a similar bevel effect for this model in EV. We have to first turn on this option called ambient occlusion. This is available in the render properties tab, and it will be visible only for EV. Let's turn on the rendered view mode like before. We have enabled an HDRI background for better visibility. If you are new to HDRI, you can follow our tutorial link given below in the video description. Now let's again open the shader editor to create a fake bevel effect for this material, and just like cycles, we need to manipulate the normal input for our main shader. So let's go to the add menu, and from the vector node group, we'll add a normal map node into our node tree. If we then connect its output to the normal input, the surface characteristics of our model will be driven by its tangent, which is parallel to the surface. But if we change this to say object space, the surface characteristics will be driven by the incident light or the light falling on it. So to get a bevel effect, we have to combine two normal maps, one with object space, and another map with tangent space. And to join them together, we need to bring one node here called color mix node. The output of the two normal maps must be connected to the two input sockets, and then its output will go to our final normal input. But that does not change anything yet on this model, so we need to manipulate the mixing factor of this mix node, in order to particularly focus on the edges. So go to the add menu, and we'll use a node called ambient occlusion to detect the edges. We need to enable this inside option, and remember that we need to enable this ambient occlusion, otherwise we won't get any values from this node. Then we need to change this distance value, to something very small, like 0.02. Then this color output can be passed through a color ramp node, for clamping or filtering purpose, and finally, the output of this node will be the mixing factor of our color mix node. So we can immediately see that the edges are highlighted prominently, with a different light reflection, which creates a bevel effect. And you can customize the thickness of this bevel by changing this distance value. You can also customize the bevel profile by manipulating this color ramp node. These two handles control the two sides of a bevel over an edge. For a complex bevel profile, you can even add more handles in the color ramp, but let's keep it short and simple. We can easily verify how it looks without any bevel. Now let's go to the back side of our model, and for these holes, if we turn off the bevel effect, the model becomes completely flat. So you can understand why it is important to always have bevel enabled for our objects. We can also make some improvements on this, let's take this model for another example. We have added the same node tree for this object, but the bevel is missing on this inner edge. If we turn off this inside option, we'll get bevel on the inner edge, which is a concave edge. We can zoom in and see it clearly, but now the convex edges won't have any bevel. If we turn it on, the bevel will come back on the outer edges, but the inner edge is again missing. So ideally, we should combine two such nodes, one having this option enabled, and another as disabled, and join them together to get the complete bevel effect. And in this mix node, we should ideally use the vector option instead of color. 
We made these changes, and we have also grouped these nodes into a single node group, which is called Bevel for EV. So we can actually get rid of all these individual nodes and use the node group. We are sharing this node group as an add-on with all our members, or those who have taken our membership. We need to connect this normal to this normal, and we can control the bevel width by changing this radius value as suitable. This will add a bevel effect for all the edges on our object, including the concave as well as the convex edges. Now, instead of this bevel node, you may already have some other nodes connected to the normal input of the primary shader node. It may be for some material effect like this, but for this case as well, we can very well use our bevel node group. We have to place it just before the final shader node, and it can take the incoming normal as an input for itself. It will automatically add the required bevel effect for all the edges, along with whatever material effect we originally had. Everything will be retained in the combined output. So you can build this bevel node yourself, or if you join our membership within this month, you can get this node absolutely free. Otherwise you can purchase it from the links given below in the video description. So that's all for today, and I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.